and tea. Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Mother Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be dipping into colour. I am so excited to be dipping back into colour. I feel as though it has been such a long time since I've even done a tutorial type of video. So before we get into this video, I am going to say this if you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that girl you can join us every single week that we upload and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified first before anybody else when mother uploads a brand new video and if you actually enjoyed this video it helped you you got some tips and tricks that you're going to use in future make sure to hit that like button as well to show your support and it also helps to rank the video a little bit higher so it gets boosted up to a couple more people so that it can help more people so for this video i am going to be basing it off a sunset sort of look the purples, yellows and the oranges but the techniques that I'm going to be using is a technique that I learned about two years ago when I started working at NYX and this technique literally transformed my blending game, my pigment game, my eyeshadow game was to use a cream or a liquid as a base and then to go on top of that with a pigment. You can also use pressed powders like a pressed um, eyeshadow on top but I find that the loose powders, the loose pigments work a little bit better on top of the creams or liquids. So the matte liquid lipsticks that I will be using in this video are the liquid suede from NYX Professional Makeup and that is Pink Lust, Jet Set and little denim dress. I absolutely love the way that these blend out on the skin as you saw in my pride look. Of course, if you wanted to like maybe cover your full face or something like that, you might wanna go for some sort of face paint, but for a small area like the eyes, this works perfectly and it really doesn't use that much product either. So I will be using a pink, a light blue, and a little bit of the darker blue. And to accompany that, I'm gonna be using a product that is actually discontinued sadly I cried when I heard it was discontinued because I absolutely love them so in order to achieve that sunset look I needed to use a yellow however in their liquid suede they do not have a yellow so I used an alternative this is the full throttle eyeshadow stick in the shade dangerously this is a more pale yellow I would have preferred something that was a little bit more rich but when I pop the um, loose pigment on top of it is gonna brighten it up so much and it's gonna look absolutely stunning so to achieve the most pigmented eyeshadow look that I possibly can I like to go in with an eyeshadow base and one that is really creamy this is the eraser eye from Maybelline this one is really really popular and this is in the shade ivory I believe this is the lightest shade it's very close to white but it's not white so I do quite like this one so this is the one that we are going to be going in with taking a very large brush I don't actually know what you would call this type of brush but it's a very large one perfect we're looking a little bit crazy now however it will all make sense in the end now I am gonna start off with pink glass I like using the back of my hand as that way you're able to control the amount of each product that you're actually placing on the eye very pigmented as you can see I'm just gonna map out roughly where I want the pink to be Now taking a separate clean brush, I'm literally just gonna go ahead and diffuse the edges a bit. Perfect, now that we have that blended out to perfection and the edges are seamless, we are gonna move on to Little Denim Dress, which is this beautiful, vibrant blue shade. And taking a brand new brush, I'm gonna start blending that more into my immediate crease, just below where that pink sits. What I like to do from here is I go back and forth between the blue brush and the pink brush to diffuse it and really get it nice and seamless. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead with Jet Set and when I use a lid color, I sometimes just like to go right onto the lid with that color. So that is what I'm gonna do here. I'm literally just gonna pop it down like so. Lastly, I'm gonna take my Full Throttle Dangerously eyeshadow stick and I'm gonna use the back of my hand to warm it up because this product does need to be warmed up a little bit. It's not gonna be as easy to blend out as the matte liquid lipsticks are. So I do use the back of my hand just like that just to blend it out. Just gonna use a little bit on the outermost part of the eye look. Perfect, now that we have those colours laid down and blended out, 
we are going to go ahead and take our Stargazer pigments. These are the super duper 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 brightly pigmented pigments that I like to use to go on top of my liquid and cream bases. So we have a pink one here, we have a yellow and we also have the blue. So for this I like to start off with the base colour which is the blue. It can get a little bit messy so I like to just pop a little bit in the lid like that. I'm going to go ahead and pat that onto the lid. And as you can see, this has made the pigment 100. Okay, love these with my life and soul. We are using loose pigments, so there is going to be a certain amount of fallout. So just be prepared for that. I'd say it's probably best to do your eye makeup first. So for those who like to do their eye makeup last, you might want to rethink it. Now dipping into the pink, just above the blue and blending it into the blue. So now moving on to the yellow, I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush in there, just above where we placed the pink. Some of the brushes that would have been best for this job, I actually don't have at hand, so I've been making do with these brushes, which haven't been blending it out as well as I would have liked them to, but it's okay. So at this point, I just go back and forth with the brushes, I go back and forth with the pink brush, the blue brush, and the yellow until I believe it's really nice and gradually blended out. As you can see, it's almost created almost like a rainbow type of effect, minus the green. When you blend out the colours really nicely and seamlessly, you're going to get that gradual gradient effect from a bluey to a purpley to a pinky, orangey, yellow. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the excess. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of base foundation, concealer, all of that, a little bit of contour and we're going to keep it pushing. So while I was blending out my concealer, I thought it would be really good to come and show you guys how I blend out the inner part of my eyeshadow because at the end we know that we just clean it with a baby wipe and then some concealer but on the innermost part of my eye, I just take a small brush like this and I literally just take a little bit of the concealer from above and below and just blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. It's going to give you a really nice gradual finish and nothing too harsh. Perfect, so this is how we are looking once we have our base on. Foundation, concealer, powder, little bit of highlight, <laughs> just a tad. Now we are gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. For the inner corners, you guys, if you guys have been following me for a minute now, you would know that I literally do not complete an eye look or just general a look without doing something on my inner corners. So I'm gonna be using this Stargazer Gold Metallic Liner. Now, as you can see, that liner has given my eye look such a boost, literally just extending those inner corners really helps to sharpen the eye look and give it more of that cat eye effect, which I absolutely live for. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get into lashes. Now, for this, I like to use just a random mascara. For today's video, I'm gonna be using the mascara from Revolution. This is their brand new one. These lashes are from Lick and Lash in the style Molly. And this is how they look, absolutely gorgeous. Perfect, so this is how we are looking with the lashes on. Absolutely love these lashes. They are so stunning. I don't usually go for styles like this anymore. I did used to back in the day when I used to go for a little bit more drama, but mm, we've been toning it down, but I feel as though it is time to get back into the drama. This is such a dramatic eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight just a tad so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Purple Rain Lip Gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna pop that over my whole lip. I was thinking, should I go for something a little bit more ombre, something more matte? But I just thought, no, keep it simple. Let the girls breathe. They've already got so much in the eyes. I actually haven't tried the glosses before. At least I haven't tried this one yet. I definitely say it's a little bit more on the sheer side. You definitely need to build it up a little bit to get that pigment to pop. But as you can see, once it's on, it is a stunning colour. Perfect, so this is the final official look. For the lips, I did do a little shazazz. I added a little bit of shadow around the edges and a little bit of a blue pigment in the centre so that it would give it more of a ombre and also more of a 
purpley bluish shade that would more mirror what we have on the eye in terms of color so i really hope you picked up some tips and tricks if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button to show your support it also helps to rank the video a little bit higher make sure to subscribe if you're not already like sis we need you in the family come on in we want to see you again and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified whenever i upload the comment section tell me what you want to see in the next video what you liked from this video what you thought was parkington so i'll see you in the next video guys hope you enjoyed slay bye